Hey, what's going on guys? Nicker here. Back with another Loot from 100 video. Today we are doing the Revenant Knight. So we did a video on the Revenant Dragon about a couple days ago. I released that. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. And uh, it was pretty decent loot. It was averaged around almost 16k a kill. So like 1.5 millish we made from that, not including any special drops, totems, or any of the unique drops. But uh, it was pretty good. So I thought to myself, um, I've seen a lot of people killing the Revenant Knight instead of the Dragon. So I was wondering, maybe... The knight is actually better loot or something, but it's a lower level. So I said, oh, you know what? I'm going to take this into my own hands and I'm going to try it out and uh, see what I can get from it. See what kind of loots I can get from it and everything. So that's what I did. And uh, here you can just see me <laughs> just escaping another clan of PKers as usual, guys. I'm just going to stress this. Can't stress this enough. If you're going to go into the wilderness and kill these, do not be afraid to die. Don't bring things you don't want to lose because it's most likely going to happen. The rev caves is one of the most populated spots you can possibly go to now in the wilderness where you're going to find players trying to kill you. So um, just make sure you're not bringing an item you don't want to lose. Anyways, let's get into uh, the loot from this and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, this is the final from 100 Revenant Night Kills. The only things that are not here are the coin drops because they were it drops anywhere from 1 to 200 coins, so it really didn't add up to that much in the end anyways. And the ether drops, the Revenant Ether, which I didn't even... I did write them down, I'll show you guys right here. I actually do. I actually did write down every kill, so you can just look through this yourself or pause the video and see... Uh, to see for yourself how much the ether and the coins and see if it's worth even calculating to put in the price check. I really don't think it is. It's probably, if anything, maybe like stressing 50k, maybe from all the revenant ether and the coin drops put together so you can just look at this here if you want to pause it or look at any of the loot stuff too but you're going to see it right here in a price check in a second uh which is right here so let's see what the final total is from 100 kills so 1.3 mil it's actually a little bit less than the revenant dragon i'm pretty sure we averaged i think the price check with the revenant dragon was 1.5 mil and 86k it was almost 1.6 so this is a little bit less not too much less. Um, just one thing I want to say about the knight is it's kind of weird. Personally, I don't, I don't know if this is, maybe it's just me. I feel like the knight actually heals more than the dragon does. I feel like I have a tougher time killing the knight sometimes than I would if I was killing the dragon. But maybe that's just me. I'm not sure, but that's just my notes on it. So 1.3 mil, not bad. It's about 13k a kill, which is, it's alright. But um, I'm going to do another video on another Revenant. I think I'm going to do the Revenant Dark Beast next and see what the loot is from that because that's in level 30 wilderness, uh, below level 30 wilderness, sorry, where you can actually teleport out of. So you're going to have a lot less chance dying. I'm going to see if uh, the loot's anywhere near the same. For It probably won't be because there's such a better chance of you escaping. So we'll see how good that is. That'll be the next video. Um, thanks for watching the video guys. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you want to see in the next video. And uh, that's it for me. Nick her out.